Good morning. Good morning to you all. Hello. Good morning. Good morning. That's great. Hi, Foster. Gary. Good morning, Gary. How are you? Hi, Gary. Great to see you. Good evening. Yeah, good evening to you. Well, good morning. We'll start. <clears throat> Excuse me. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening, no matter where you are in the world. And thank you for tuning in to this wonderful webinar. My name is Maria Hopwood, and I'm from Sydney, Australia. Now, before we start, um, this webinar is going live on Dr. Gary Samuelson's Facebook page. Please feel free to add wonderful comments of appreciation. However, as a sign of respect to Dr. Samuelson and his guests, do not post any questions on his Facebook page. For more information, please go back to the person that invited you to this webinar. Also, please note that the lines will not be open to, uh, for questioning. However, time permitting, uh, Sylvia Colina will read any question that come in the chat box so long as they are ASEA compliant. I appreciate your co uh, cooperation. Now, the format of this webinar will be set by a number of questions that will post to Dr. Samuelson, Dr. Malmed and Terry, welcome. But, um, but before I start, I'd like to um, make a, a disclaimer. And the disclaimer is that ASEA Renew 28 Redox Serum are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or medical condition. Dr. Samuelson, Dr. Melmed, welcome. Terry, we are so appreciate your time and taking time out of your day. It's just wonderful to have you here. Um, please feel free to interject at any time. It is a conversation, so it, you go ahead. I'll just keep you honest <laughs> by giving you questions, if I may, at times. Um, so let's begin. Welcome to the webinar. And the webinar topic for today is the last 10 years, ASEA's Redox Biotechnology Clinical Result Tips and Idea for Health Professionals with Dr. Samuelson, PhD, Atomic Medical Physicist, and Dr. Foster, Malmet and Terry, ASEA Triple Diamonds. Now, before we start, I would like to um, ask a question to Dr. Malmet and Terry, welcome. Uh, as an introduction, please share with us how you know Dr. Samuelson. Oh, well, thank you for having us. We're so honored to be here. Love always doing webinars with Dr. Gary. Um, so we were actually met Dr. Gary at the first convention. The first convention that we were very skeptical. Um, we were there because I got my life back, which I'll tell you in a moment. Awesome. But we went there really just to find out more about this company, the people behind it. Uh, we were not network marketers. We didn't know anybody. And we got there and we got to see, we were skeptical New Yorkers and there was Dr. Gary, along with Virtus Norton, um, two of the most humble, um, altruistic men that we've probably ever met. And just made us feel at ease. He, Dr. Gary was so humble. Um, he wasn't, he was just so kind and wanted to hear everybody's stories. And he was just true from the heart. And that's how we met him. You wanna to add to that? Yes, absolutely. So uh, Dr. Gary has one of my most favorite brains that I've ever met. Um, and I'm a, I'm a chiropractor, but a researcher at heart. And when I saw what had happened with my wife, um, and I read about this guy, Dr. Gary Samuelson, and I wanted to see what an atomic medical physicist looked like and what it is that he thought like. Um, and we were blown away. We were skeptical New Yorkers. I was a chiropractor I working in a hospital, which wasn't that easy. And the thought of bringing a saltwater product developed by an atomic medical physicist through network marketing into a hospital didn't sound so alluring to me. But after meeting Dr. Gary, it was a done deal. We got on the plane and we said, okay, we can hitch our carts to those horses and let's see what we can get done because they're amazing humans. Thank you, Gary. Yeah. That's awesome because um, Dr. Malmed, you have got a, quite, a, quite a, um, a history. So if you don't mind, I'm now going to read your background, a bit of a background. So you've received your bachelor of degrees from Syracuse University, I hope I pronounced that correct. Thank you. In 1979, and your doctorate from Palmer College of Chiropractic in 1983. You also, um, you were at the New York's, New York's State of All-Round Gymnastics champion. So you're pretty fit as well. That's good to see. Um, <clears throat> and since you graduated, 
You've been a doctor of chiropractic and a certified applied kinesiology for over 34 years. So from 2010 and 2015, you have been the sole chiropractor in Patnam Hospital Center, where you've used ASEA products for the past five years, for about five years. And you've then moved into the physical medical um, medicine and rehab wellness center two and a half years ago, where you actually continue to share the products with all your patients. Um, Terry, <clears throat> you've left your full-time career in September 2010 as a personal trainer and a business owner to actually share these amazing products with the world, which is fabulous. And after having an incredible life-changing experience after well, taking this year, um, you, you've just become absolutely committed to, the, to share the, the, the message of ASEA with the world. Um, Dr. Matt, I believe you now sit in ASEA's medical professional board and you are an expert in the field of redox biochemistry and your passion is to teach lots of other doctors and the health professionals about the science of ASEA. Truly appreciate that, Dr. Foster. Thank you so much. So Terry, what's, how, did you, um, how did ASEA change your life? Oh my gosh, in so many ways. Um, but to start with, I had a couple of things. Um, I had been bitten by a bug and I had a disease from that bug. And I also, because it was uh, went undiagnosed, mistreated by, the, by Western medicine, um, I turned into an autoimmune. Mm -hmm. uh, I was very, very sick. I, I would say I was the healthiest sick person you knew. I did everything to get better from um, Western medicine, Eastern medicine, alternative. I did everything and uh, nothing got me better. I was in bed a lot of the time. Everything in my body hurt. I had extreme fatigue. I didn't have, uh, my brain cognition was, was bad. I couldn't find words. I had a lot of things going on with me. And we were introduced, we, a friend from California called and said he had this this magic water um, from Utah, Salt Lake. And he was, he was a network marketer. He really wanted us to join his business, but he talked about the cardiovascular benefits because that's really all we knew back then. It was cardiovascular benefits and, um, and just the immune system. So um, that was, we, we just decided to try it. And in three days of drinking this salt water network marketing product, um, I got out of bed and I literally could walk and, and all, everything was gone. I felt amazing. Wow. So it wasn't, um, for me, it was like, what's going on? Day four, I was even better. Day five, I wasn't having to nap. And I said to Foster, it has to be this product. It has to be a C. I've done nothing else. Mm -hmm. And that was the beginning. Um, I, I never looked back. I got my whole life back wow. and it's continued over the past eight years, so many things have changed. So many things have continued to improve. Thank you so much for that, Terry. I mean, that, that's such a wonderful, <clears throat> uh, beautiful experience because it gives a lot of people out there a hope and those that are listening to, to see that. Look, and there's also an expectancy, isn't there? I mean, some people um, have results overnight in four days, but sometimes people have take a little bit longer and, um, to, to experience the, those results, which is something that perhaps uh, we can talk about a little bit later. So, Dr. Samuelson, welcome to the webinar and thank you for oh, your time. Now, for it's, those, it's wonderful, thank you. Thank you, that's, that's lovely. For those that don't know Dr. Samuelson, um, Dr. Samuelson has a medical atomic physics degree from the University of Utah and has dedicated his career and knowledge to the advancement of technology that addresses major health issues today. He's also the author of the science of the book of science of helium reveal. His focus is on the science of redox technology and that is now developing around the world. Dr. Samuelson is the one and only scientist that was able to do what the scientific world deemed impossible to stabilize this amazing redox signal, signaling molecules outside the body for our consumption. Thank you, doctor. This in itself is a magnificent accomplishment, considering that these amazing molecules take a, tr a millionth of a second to be created and used up by the body. And it takes the same amount of time to be converted back to a sudden sol solution within the human cells when they are not required. Thanks to Dr. Samuelson and ASEA, humanity, of which we are now all part of, have trillions and trillions of these molecules stabilized in a bottle in a gel, and also now in an intensive redox serum, 
uh, reform to protect, repair, replace our cells. And as Dr. Samuelson has said previously, ASEA assists in expressing the gene that helps communication inside our cells. For more information, please you can all go later on to Dr. Samuelson's blog, which is drgarysamuelson.com. So welcome, Dr. Samuelson. So what was your first experience? What, what was your impression when you first met this wonderful couple here, Dr. Terry, um, Sam, Foster and um, Terry? Uh, our journey with ASEA has been incredible, actually, all around the world. They were one of the first ones that we met when we go, went down to uh, New York. We had a, a get together. I just wanted to uh, correct a few things. Um, first of all, uh, there are several genes that ASEA uh, affects, uh, several significantly, you know. Um, and uh, also, uh, early on, we understood the potential of this technology. Uh, at least I understood that it would have the possibility of accelerating healing in every part of the body, which was which was incredible. We'll talk a little bit about you know why and how uh, later, and especially for the doctors out there that uh, like like Terry, and oh wow, I'm sorry, like Foster, uh, that I, and Terry. <laughs> um, that we that we met in New York, and uh, as he had mentioned, you know, he was at a position at a major university a hospital, and was um, was doing things up there, and um, and I was very interested in seeing, you know, how the uh, ASEA product was uh, being received in the medical world, among among the medical pra practitioners, because I thought that uh, at the very beginning, we tried to actually develop and um, release this as a pharmaceutical. I don't know if you, under, you, you knew that, but uh, there were 16 years of research uh, up leading up to the point where it came into our hands. And this, this research, uh, even though it did not uh, indicate what uh, it did specifically inside the body, uh, you know, it, it didn't understand the redox signaling technology. Uh, that was that was something that that uh, we understood a little bit later on. And when we looked at this and found that every component or all the components that were in uh, this new technology made out of salt water, <laughs> like uh, like Foster had mentioned, you know, um, that this that these uh, components were the same components that existed in large numbers inside the body as signaling messengers. And that they that they had a, a great deal of uh, utility inside inside the body. I became very excited about this. I wanted to see what it was doing, and uh, you know, Foster was one of the first people that actually started to apply it in the clinical um, environment. And uh, not only that, though, we also uh, developed a, a close friendship, and. Um, um, you know, Foster was, was a wonderful person, and I, I enjoyed the, their company very much. Uh, but, uh, yeah, we've known each other since almost the very beginning. And uh, at that time, at the beginning, we knew the potential, or at least I knew the potential. I tried to educate people on what it could do. And it was more than just the immune system, and it was, and it was more than just um, some of the other things that we mentioned. Um, there was also the signaling system and healing system. Um, inside the body, but um, uh, my goodness, uh, what have we seen during those last 10 years? <laughs> what have we seen? Isn't it been an incredible journey? It's... What, what haven't we seen? <laughs> Would be the question. <laughs> so, so meeting Dr. Foster and Terry, and of course you understanding the importance of this discovery to um, what it meant to humanity, and of course, I'm sure you all realized there was a commercial opportunity behind it because somehow it had to get to the people, okay? And the product had to be produced. What was your initial reaction and how did it expand both your vision, Dr. Foster and Terry, and of course, Dr. Samuelson? Uh, as far as it being network marketing, is that what the question yeah. is? Yeah, yeah. Um, it, had I, it had to go to the, to the market. At some point, it's got to go somewhere. You've got to give it to the people. You, people need to have access to it. Yes, uh, I was I was ignorant into the, the power of network marketing. I didn't quite understand the business model. And so for me, it was, oh, it's one of those pyramid things. Um, and so I was, you know, getting your life back. I couldn't deny 
the product, but that the, the business for me was a little like, I, I just didn't, I just wasn't comfortable with it. And that was my own ignorance. Mm -hmm. um, so I said, you know, I'm gonna share the product with everybody but not the business, which was so sad because again, I, I kept it from so many people by only sharing the product until I learned about the network marketing and, and, and to learn about Virtus Norton and his background in beverages, his background in business, that gave me confidence that if this man who was the VP of strategy for Kraft Foods thinks that this is the way to go, well, then I'm going to follow his lead. Um, so that's kind of, that was my, my take in the beginning. Uh, my take in the beginning was I was very blessed that, um, you know, to, to us, it was just a sports product, allegedly, that improved VO2 max in 14 days with impossible numbers. Um, and when Terry told me originally she was better, I didn't believe her. It was like, okay, that's nice. I'm going back to the hospital. I'm going to work. But then day by day, as she was cooking and singing and cleaning and feeling so much better, I couldn't ignore that. And then when I had my own changes, um, that's when I decided I would read that man's book. And I got only halfway through the book because I'm a slow reader. And I said, uh, Terry, the guy who told us this was a sports product, he's a dope because this is this is gonna change the world. This is why you're better. This is why I'm better. And this is gonna change the world. And we have to find out what this is, if it's real. Mm -hmm. So that was when we decided we needed to go meet this man who wrote this book, who had these theories about the stuff we drink that got her better. My children got their mom back. Mm -hmm. And then within just a month or two, one of my dearest patients in the world came in and he had been given a prognosis that was very great. And I just gave him the product and I said, listen, let's see whether or not, you know, you can feel better. And that was, they gave him a handful of weeks to get his affairs in order. And uh, Dr. Gary, it's been now almost eight years and he's fine, thank you very much. And that was the first one that I saw. And when we saw that, I didn't care if it was network marketing, I wasn't gonna share network marketing, but I needed to share this product with my patients and with doctors in the hospital. And as that grew, checks grew. And then somebody said, where are your presentations? And we said, we don't do presentations. We don't know what a presentation and is. And so we, that stuff all came <laughs> later, but in the beginning it was all about, could we trust Dr. Gary's research? Did it make sense? Did it work? And yes, now we knew it. Now, could we get that message across in a New York hospital? And if you want to look at my back, I can show you the bullet holes. <laughs> this was New York, um, but it's okay. The message is getting out just beautifully. Fabulous. Yeah, well, uh, Maria, when, when they first introduced the network marketing to me as a possible commercialization strategy, I thought my career was over. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we could have been on the unemployment line together. Um, well, you know, the, um, the, the technology was, was world-class, wonderful technology. And I wanted to see it finish the, uh, the pharmaceutical track, but the, it would have cost over a billion dollars and 10 years of development. And then they would have only had developed maybe one indication out of the 30, 40 different types of, um, or more different indications that might be, the uh, indication means something that it can do against a, problem, a health problem. And, and uh, so uh, I went to Virtus and I said, no, we can't do this. <laughs> and, and, and Virtus took me aside and he said, Gary, how are we going to get this product out? We, it won't sit on a shelf. It'll be out in 10 years. Uh, we didn't trust the pharmaceutical companies to, to shepherd this technology, to steward it. And so who is going to do this? And we looked at each other and we realized, you know, maybe you're right, Virtus, uh, you know, um, I'll help educate people on the science behind this product. And so I went, I started to go around and educate people on what redox signaling was and what it did inside the body at that point. Um, and all of the things that we had learned. But the thing that touched me probably the most, and uh, the same as, as uh, Dr. Malmed, was the effect and change that this had in the lives of, of hundreds, 
may even thousands of people as it started getting out there. And I was I was one of the very fortunate ones to sit there at, at that vantage point and see that literally thousands and thousands of people were, were getting were getting their lives back. And uh, it, it, it was just an amazing uh, thing, you know. Uh, Ter Terry is, uh, is one of the, the special ones, but she's so only one of thousands out there that we've seen. And so we realized that we did the right thing. In getting the pro product out there, the, using this network marketing model, we were able to reach more people and more lives in less time than would have been, ever been possible otherwise. <clears throat> you have the benefit of actually creating a commercial opportunity for those that um, want to um, because the more you share the more you get rewarded don't you which is the fabulous system yeah absolutely so dr summerson you make it you made um a, a, you know in 2017 the research the genetic research was actually launched uh, officially to the world and um and, and that was a wonderful thing. Now, Dr. Malmed and Terry, and of course, Dr. Gary Summers, and the question is for all of you, what impacts and benefits do you see this having on health professionals that are adopting this technology in the everyday practice? And how would they implement this technology with their clients? What are your, what are your thoughts? Uh, I'd like to hear how, how uh, Dr. Malmed did this. He has told me the story before. This is very fun. <laughs> Well, um, so again, when I became the chiropractor in a hospital and I had only been there for a few months, um, nobody threw me, as I say, a parade when I got there. And then when I brought in the saltwater network marketing product, <laughs> they didn't throw me a second parade. Um, so what I did was um, I took a whole bunch of boxes of empty ASEA boxes and I piled them into a triangle shape. And I made sure that every patient that I saw walked past that room. And I didn't have lots of time to talk to people about mitochondria and how this all worked. Mm -hmm. So back then, you know, we had our two visit videos and, you know, I could use a chisel and a rock. I could get them a message. Um, but people would walk by and say, what's that, what's that pyramid of stuff? And I said, oh, that's the most powerful product in the world. And it's not a pyramid. <laughs> and they would say, well, that's interesting and in that it's not a pyramid. And I said, no, it's not. And if you're interested, we'll send you some information. So it was a lot of just piquing their interest and getting their information. But then as people would come in as my patients, you know, I'm a musculoskeletal uh, specialist. And I'd say, you know what, you have this problem in your back. And normally that would take however many weeks to get better. But if you start drinking that product, it's probably going to take less time. Do you want to take longer or a shorter amount of time? It's up to you. And so I would just pique their interest, try to use just a sentence or two, get them to understand this is the number one, in my opinion. It's number one in health, wellness, anti-aging, skin, and athletics. And anybody that you can talk to can improve, and anybody that they know and everybody that they know can improve. And this is about humanity. Who wouldn't want to help others. You're muted again, right now. You're very good, yeah. Well, um, uh, from the very beginning, I started to educate the doctors on, on what this was. Um, I have a little presentation, you know, at, at, uh, maybe five minutes, uh, that goes through some of the uh, early technologies or the technology. And I, I, if that, if would it be all right if I just showed a few of those slides, including maybe the research, the gene research that has been taking place uh, recently uh, here? Yeah, I'm going to share share my screen. I hope this I hope this works. Excuse me. Oops. All right. There we go. <laughs> Um, well, this, the, the story starts with uh, oxygen, and a lot of people uh, understand that oxygen is very important for, for health. Even doctors realize that, um, but they don't know why <laughs> oxygen is an interesting molecule. An oxygen molecule can receive electrons. It's called um, 
reducing the oxygen. It also can oxidize other things by taking electrons away. That's why it's called an, elect, uh, an oxidant. And when it, be, it uh, grabs an electron, it becomes new, a new uh, thing. Oxygen, when it grabs an extra electron, becomes a superoxide ion, ion. If it grabs another one, it becomes a peroxide ion, like hydrogen peroxide. And then it grabs more, and it becomes uh, more and more uh, active in that area. It also becomes more reduced. And the most reduced form of uh, oxygen is water. And uh, you know, oxygen is a major component in water, and the bonds that create that um, um, exist there are important. There's a trillion billion of these molecules in just one drop of water. Uh, so there's a lot of oxygen, and the water also forms clusters, and the clusters then uh, um, also have biological impact inside the cells. And so, you know, as we're developing uh, biology, we start realizing that we are made out of a bunch of tissues. And those tissues are made of interconnected cells. And then these uh, cells have all sorts of things happening, uh, just a metropolis of activity inside from complex molecules that are connected and orchestrated. And um, they're all connected through the saltwater medium. Everything in biochemistry takes place in salt and water. And the salt and water also becomes oxidized and reduced. It re, um, and that's what they call redox, reduction oxidation technologies. And it, it causes all of the th things inside the cell to work. And um, so uh, it the cell helps to communicate and coordinate all of these very diverse activities inside by using uh, oxidation of oxygen or salt water, which also includes some other things that are like hypochlorites and, um, and such. Uh, most of these are produced by, while the, the metabolism is, is producing sugar and uh, creating superoxides and such. And uh, these are being created by the mitochondria and then they're being eliminated by the antioxidants uh, inside the cell, there, there's a continual process of creation and elimination of these redox signaling molecules. Some of you have seen this before. And uh, the, that's wonderful because they're, the mitochondria is producing energy. It's also producing these things. And it's keeping in a homeostatic balance all of the oxidation inside the cell until the cell gets damaged. Then the cell starts to smoke end up smoke signals where the oxidants and free radicals go crazy. And this is a, sen uh, um, a signal that something is wrong inside your body, like inflammation or immune disorders or uh, you know, whatever it happens. Uh, this signals the genes then to take their stance, to get, to get ready and to, um, to fix the problem and or kill the cell and uh, the cell, when it, it dies, it's a programmed death, is replaced by the neighboring cells that are healthy. And, and uh, this is the way that the body heals itself. And so when you, you, you can see that when I saw that we were able to produce these redox signaling messengers outside the body that could um, directly stimulate the, the processes inside the, the cell to let the cell repair and replace damaged um, uh, tissue, it was incredible. This had, this had been impossible in the past. And I still, at that early age, thought it was, was impossible until we started to see the results that we did in the clinical in, environment and, and also uh, around the world. So uh, James Watson now is one of the champions. He, he uh, was the one that, that saw what or helped this discover what the structure of DNA is. Right now, he is in New York, by the way, it's sunny, sunny up there. And, um, and he is uh, spending the rest of his life seeing what these uh, reactive oxygen species or redox signaling molecules do in the, inside the body and seeing how, how we can um, produce them inside the body. So this is not a, a, you know, a, a behind the scenes type of science. This is actually in front sort of things. Many have in the cell signaling process um, discovered what redox signaling does 
uh, one of uh, one of them, and and many of them, I should say, have earned uh, Nobel prizes and written books, done absolutely wonderful work in science uh, on this on this technology. So there there's the lead up, uh, and I hope that it didn't take too long. <laughs> Um, the antioxidant uh, myth is that oxidants are bad and antioxidants are good and you only can get them from vegetables. That's not true. Both antioxidants and oxidants are produced inside your body and are necessary uh, com companions in, for, for the uh, healthy working uh, processes inside your body. And many uh, oxidative therapies today are becoming very popular, you know, like these... Um, the oxygen tents and the ozone therapy and hydrogen peroxide and the ways that we stimulate through light and um, electromagnetic radiation, oxidative processes in, inside of our body. All of these have to do with the redox signaling process. So they're trying to stimulate and create the, the redox signaling inside the body that will um, heal damaged tissue. So I am going to go through a little bit this quickly, but we found that the oxidants are very critical in the regrowth of tissue. This is a tadpole. You cut the tail off a tadpole and it regrows. The reds and oranges and the, the, the uh, yellows are actually the redox signaling messengers, the oxidants that are inside the, um, the tissue. They're able to use fluorescent markers to, to show what it is. Notice in the regeneration of the tail, the oxidants are very critical um, there. Uh, in fact, without that, they, what they did also is they took uh, antioxidants and got rid of the oxidants for the regeneration process, and the tail did not regenerate. So the oxidation, the redox signaling molecules were absolutely essential in the regeneration of, of tissue. and um, and the uh, redox signaling molecules inside of uh, SIA, actually, I'm going to go through this a little bit, are uh, able to replenish the same type of redox signaling molecules that are inside healthy living cells and, um, and that are produced in there in a way that has never been possible before, uh, you know, through drinking it. And so we asked, well, what will these uh, redox signaling molecules do? Are they safe? The 16 years of studies that I mentioned before said they're absolutely safe. They're biocompatible, they're bioactive. Um, they increase antioxidant efficacies. Uh, they increase the NRF2. Um, and this is important because we just prove, have proven through our gene studies that uh, NRF2 is one of the, in one of the pathways of the genes, the increased production of NRF2, which produces antioxidants and, and defense genes. And it also does a lot of the things that we've seen in the gene study. For, for example, it, it helps to activate the innate, innate immune system and uh, reduce inflammation. And in the, and the muscular and the, the vascular health also helps to renew the endothelium or the, size, the cells inside the blood vessels. And uh, one thing that I didn't know it from the gene study that I didn't predict was that it also helps to the, in the production of digestive enzymes in the digestive system. Um, and it speeds up regeneration of skin cells and oxidation of tissues. And uh, these, these things that we, that we have seen. And uh, it, besides that, it kills all the mi microbes. It's perfectly safe. It can go in your eyes, ears, your nose, your mouth. You can put it in any tissue. You can put it inside, outside, yourself in any amount and it's safe and it, then it, but it kills bacteria so the bacteria that are the that are pathogenic the, the bad guys uh, it kills and it has no effect on the on the healthy bacteria and we've done several studies on that uh, cell cultures uh, you know we uh, found that it an increased antioxidant efficacies you know incredible amounts in cell cultures it increased uh, sensitivity to hormones. That's another one that we've proven out in the gene study. Uh, it increases, it uh, reverses cell aging. Cells that were aging and irresponsive, unresponsive, excuse me, uh, all of a sudden became responsive and uh, new when we put it to see in these cell cultures. 
It opens the, these uh, keep ch one channels, which are also part of the genetic pathways that, that, are, that we have, have uh, studied. It opens detoxification channels in the gut and uh, stimulates antioxidant uh, production and, it, and it's key to regeneration cycles of the cell. Um, so we, we, we found that this is just almost a universal peel it thing. <laughs> Uh, if you want, if you want to be, you know, a little bit less technical, uh, where where it, it where it is exposed, it, it tends to in, accelerate the healing process of, of the cell, uh, and it also helps to enhance the energy utilization in animals. You know, mice were shown to to run twenty nine percent longer when they were given a sea. Uh, the human met metabolism also. And uh, go shifts in metabolites that last longer than 24 hours. Again, this was a study that was done about three, four years ago. Um, and then uh, there are several theories as of why it is working and why it's doing this, and we're still discussing. <laughs> the, the science is just at the, it's barely, it's at the barely beginning of, of, of understanding this. And uh, then the thousands of cases that have been reported and for positive benefits. The benefits for skin, of course, skin, when it becomes damaged, is very visible. And so the reduction in blockness, blotches, smoothness, texture, and hydration are very uh, um, obvious. You know, you don't have to be a scientist to see, see the effects. Uh, <laughs> But they did use very good uh, analysis and, and um, three-dimensional mapping of skin texture and stuff to, to, uh, by lasers to, um, to analyze this in order to, to get these results. And increases the blood flow, it decreases uh, the cellulite uh, fat globules, and then it increases the rate of cellular regeneration. Uh, cardiovascular research, we already knew that it would be incredible for the cardiovascular system. The genetic research said that it stimulates the EGR1 uh, gene that helps to renovate the inside of the veins, these endothelial cells that we were talking about before. And so uh, very, very exciting that we're actually, uh, in several cases, when we have sugar problems in the blood, these, these uh, very uh, veins are destroyed and it, it, it degrades our nervous system, degrades our cardiovascular system. There are over 5,000 mitochondria in, in every cell of the heart, four to 5,000. And they're producing these things because the heart can't stop and repair itself. Um, so it, the, the uh, endocrine research that has gone on also, uh, the skin research, lung research long before, uh, you know, uh, Dr. Malamed was on there. We saw the most incredible things on the on the regeneration of lung tissue in um, in animals. We we can't talk about it because uh, this was uh, these were this was early research before we we gained technology. Uh, digestive system research it, it helps the, these digestive system to replace cells. Of course, cell signaling is important in the nervous system, and it it aids there. It's safe and applicable to, to everything. And so, so now, uh, recently, I was, I, I was going to um, say, um, you know, a little bit about the genetic research. We found, we found that, they are, that there are five genes that we've been able to determine. Genetic research is very difficult because there's, there's thousands and tens of thousands of genes, and they're moving all over the place, and it's difficult to see which ones, you know, to actually find a difference in, in the, the noise, but they, we did, and they were some of the most important signaling genes that are exist in our body. And so you can imagine, uh, you know, how excited I am. Now I'm just kind of sitting on the sidelines. I'm doing other things. Um, I've written a book now about it, a new book, um, and uh, it's being released uh, in next month. Um, and so I'm still very excited and um, involved in in the science uh, still, and uh, very. But I'm almost more excited in seeing you know what, what's happening in the field with with you guys. Okay, sorry, I, I took a little bit longer than five minutes, but I'll. <laughs> okay, I don't think anybody minded. <laughs> Quite happy to. Very excited, and it was just. 
Uh, it was a wonderful presentation and thank you so much. And I think the most wonderful thing is to see how excited you are because you can actually understand what this is truly doing for humanity uh, overall. So this is really exciting to, to watch you present. So that thank you so much for that. That was just really, really lovely. Thank you. Dr. Malmes, what are, what, are, what are your thoughts on that presentation? About, awesome. about which part, about the amazing presentation, about the genetic study? What would you like to know? A lot, go for it. We're all <laughs> hanging on every word on both okay. of you. <laughs> Everybody settle in. I got a lot to say. Um, okay, so the presentation was amazing. Uh, it's, it's just such a pleasure to watch and to have this many people on a webinar. You know, when we started eight years ago and if you got a couple of people on a webinar, um, they were skeptical and they just came on to learn about things that they could make fun of. Uh, now, this is real science. You know, we're not kidding. This is, this is now 10 years since Dr. Samuelson was able to put this stuff in a bottle and eight years since we've been using it. And it's amazing. There's, you know, there's, when people say, you know, who is it for? It's for everyone. You know, if you have, if you have cells, it's for you. Uh, so when we saw the genetic study, um, that was amazing in so many ways. So, you know, we all had these guesses about what it was doing. We had the oxidative stress study. We had, you know, we had so many studies that were awesome. But when this came out, this really pointed us into directions that, I think we had always hoped some, I had no idea that we could actually trace a line right from, you know, drinking a sea to going and helping and affecting the biological processes of circadian rhythms, which just that part happened to win a Nobel prize last year. So it was amazing to see what this could do. And so, you know, when people are now open enough and they say, you know, how, how do we know it's not salt water? Well, just look at the straight line. That's salt water. That didn't do anything. And then look at that other line that shows 20 to 31% improvement on all the subjects who took eight ounces a day. So, you know, as part of the medical board, you know, we are part of the marketing department. So we use that study to say, you know what? Yes, we've always talked about drinking, you know, two ounces twice a day. But when you drink eight ounces a day, like those subjects, we know what's happening to you genetically. It happened to all of them. Yeah. So it's a, it's a real pleasure to be able to say, you know what, four ounces a day is for maintenance for people who have no troubles. But if you want real improvement that we have now objectively shown, drink eight ounces a day. I would tell you, we know plenty of people who drink more. We each drink 16 ounces a day because we see what gets better on people. We're now all about prevention. We don't want to ever get anything. We'd like to be here with Dr. Gary helping people for another hundred years. And I think that we can uh, have a shot at that if we drink enough of this product. That is just a wonderful thing. You're right. Because I, and I'm glad you, you said that about the, um, the eight ounces, because you did do a, a webinar on the 4th of June and you did talk about that you knew, you didn't know what four ounces was actually doing. There was some uh, obvious uh, changes in people's life and, and health but now you really really do know what eight ounces do for the body and of course after seeing this presentation from Dr. Sanderson we can really say eight ounces it's the way to go for the body to actually um, you know empower it to actually improve its health yeah absolutely you know and just to clarify it wasn't a blanket statement that we have no idea what this is doing when you're only drinking four ounces a day. We just didn't do that genetic study on four ounces a day. So we know more about eight ounces per day objectively than we do about four. So I now always recommend eight. But I was doing, I was doing four ounces when I got my life back. So everybody's different. Yeah. But we've been doing eight ounces twice a day now for quite a number of years mm -hmm. because we, I was doing it. And then I said to Foster, I want you to do more. Um, yeah. She made me drink more. I and I said, why? I'm drinking the standard four ounces a day. And she said, you see what's going on here. Let's prevent things. And so that's what we're doing. Uh, my thoughts precisely. My thoughts Thank precisely. You. Absolutely. Yeah, I, I, I wanted to add also, you know, the network marketing program, even though I, I opposed it at the beginning, I think is wonderful because it allows people to afford it. <laughs> you know, if you get in the bit, you get in the business, you're actually able to afford the, these health uh, and, and, and a bit more that you need. And so uh, that, that's uh, really neat. I know Dan Doyle was on a little while ago and uh, he had some health issues and some financial issues and, they, and the CEO was very helpful in both of those. 
Mm-hmm. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's a wonderful way to do it. Yeah, you know what? I, you know, I'm glad you brought that up, Gary, because that was one of the things for me, Maria, that really turned it around um, that I would only offer the product. It was only about the product, the product. And when we started to do presentations and we were making good money and we were winning trips and we were winning awards. And here I was keeping the business model away from people. And I real I heard a, a, a statement, that, a statistic that said the difference of people filing for divorce losing their home or filing for bankruptcy was an extra $500 a month. Mm -hmm. And I said, wow, here I am making wonderful money and I am not offering this opportunity to people in my audience. And so that was like my aha moment that I said, I have to start offering this opportunity because if I offer it to one person for the product, I'm helping one person. But if you get somebody in like Dan Doyle, if you get somebody in that's a network market or somebody that wants to do the business, they're gonna take a SIA and they're gonna offer it to thousands of people and we can help so many more people. So that's, that's, that was my aha moment. I remember that aha moment yeah. when she said, do not try to get me to talk about network marketing. That was the beginning. <laughs> so we used to do presentations in the hospital. I had a, I had a large uh, sort of lecture room and we would talk only about the product and then we'd sort of say, and if anybody wants to know about the business, you can talk to us later. We would kind of whisper it and go, you know, kind we, of, and we were embarrassed. How sad, how exactly. sad. Look what we learned. Yeah, exactly. Absolutely, and isn't it wonderful that this particular model um, has reached so many people? And I think what I, what I heard one of the diamonds say one day, don't ever judge the product by its <laughs> distributed, and that is so true in this case, 100%. <laughs> so, you know, we, we've we got this, um, a lot of people on the line, and there's some on Zoom now, but quite a few thousands on Facebook at the moment, and as health professionals, both of you, Dr. Samuelson, of course, Dr. Uh, Foster and, and Terry, uh, they, they are really keen and wanting to find little tips and ideas on how to pick the interest on other health professionals in the community. I mean, a lot of people, key for example, I'm, I'm not a scientist, so how does somebody as lay person approach a, uh, a doctor or another health professional uh, that is out there in the community that could really benefit from this particular product? and also their clients, most importantly. Okay, so that's a very compound question. Okay, so first of all, we know that when people get into network marketing, they know if they can get their doctor into mm -hmm. this business, they're done forever. Uh, and that's not necessarily always true. So what we found sort of statistically is the number of doctors who are going to be interested in this statistically is pretty similar to the number of people in general. Mm -hmm. So. Um, in the hospital, I had lots of practice at hearing the word no. <laughs> so that was, so first I'll talk about from health professional to health professional. So to go to another health professional and say, I have something you must look at. This is important. This is planet changing. Sometimes you can get their interest. Mm -hmm. You're going to get the interest more of people who are not in large groups, mm -hmm. as sad as that is. In my hospital, there's a group of about 500 doctors. And there are a couple of the doctors in there that use the product because they saw amazing results, but they won't talk about it because it's not FDA. And because if their boss finds out about it, they don't want to lose that job for, for suggesting a product that's not FDA. Mm -hmm. So that's something just to be aware of. If somebody's in a big group, just know they got a lot of rules, a lot of constraints, a lot of protocols, and they're not going to be the easiest. Mm -hmm. One-offs, so the doctors who are still independent, and there aren't tons of them, they may be interested not just in the technology, when you say to them, you can help literally everyone have better results. So if it's somebody who's really altruistic and a true doctor who wants to help people, they're going to look. There are some who are only interested in the bottom line. And if it's the bottom line, we can help them with that as well, if they're going to be interested in this marketing model. There are some who have business models that don't involve any products at all. And it doesn't matter what you say to them. They're not going to look at it because they are focused on 
their system that they do that some practice manager taught them and they can't bring in anything else. So the niche is going to be those who are open to new products, who are open enough, smart, and I don't know when we say smart enough, okay, smart enough to be able <laughs> to look at redox signaling is this is going to change the world. It's already changing the world. Mm. And still most are going to say no. And it never hurts to get the doctor's staff to help you. As far as a lay person going in, just know it's not always easy. The doctor's there to listen to you with your complaints, not necessarily about a new business or a new product. Mm -hmm. So don't be offended. And the goal is just don't take up much of their time. Just let them know, I have this product. It's amazing. It helps everyone. It will help every one of your patients. If I sent you a three-minute video, would you look at it? Something very simple. Don't walk in with, with Redox Life. It's the most amazing book some of us have ever read, of course, besides The Science of Healing Revealed, of course. Um, but just let send them a video. Just send them, a, send them one two-page two document and then just keep following up, and that's the best way. Yeah. It's, uh, good. Yeah, and you know, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person. And just asking them if they're open to looking at something that's absolutely life-changing. Ask them if they give, will give you five minutes of their time. But when you ask that five minutes, really set your, set your timer and say, I'm, I'm going to really five minutes because doctors are busy. They don't, if you're going to start talking about something, they're going to get really, they're going to start looking, they have their schedule. So say, could I speak to you for five minutes at your convenience? and schedule that five minutes with them to look at something that's absolutely life-changing and see if they're open to it. You're gonna be able to tell, and again, I think really important in network marketing is don't expect a doctor to say, yes, I'm in on the first, the first talk. You know, this is, this is about finding out, it's a relationship business, finding out what that person wants, what that health professional is looking for. And they may, and it may not be the right time for them. So it's just kind of um, dripping, just dripping, a drip campaign, just talking to them, seeing if they're open. And if you can ever get the Renew 28, if you see them with an injury or you know they talk about that, you know, their shoulder hurts or the neck hurts, whatever it is, bring in a tube and just say, can I just share this with you for a few minutes? Just please trust me. And don't you put it on them, put it on their hand, have them rub it in a few times. And then while they're doing it, say, we're just going to do this for five minutes. You now have that five minutes to talk to them. And maybe you'll get a new person once they see what that does in a few minutes. Wow, I can't emphasize how effective that is. Uh, I've, I've talked for hours and hours and days to researchers about the product. And then I said, okay, it's safe, use it. And, uh, <laughs> and <laughs> That's it. I and then uh, they start, that, that was it. Then they said, well, what's this gunk that I'm, I'm coughing up out of my lungs for smoking for, for 10 years, you know? And oh, oh, my knee is feeling much better. What happened? What is this stuff? And then, then you can start uh, your conversation with a little bit more credibility, even if you're, if you're a scientist. So. Yeah. <laughs> I just think that's important not not to not to base your business on healthcare professionals. Um, again, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, but it's don't stay focused on them because it's going to be somebody's going to come into your life that's going to take this and run with it. That's going to share it with people. That's going to have that credibility. So just treat healthcare professionals like everybody else. And you know when you look at when you look at a CIA as a company. Back in the early days, there were a handful of us doctors, and I think just about all of us are now on the medical board, um, that a handful of us took it and ran with it. But now when you look at who the diamonds are, there's not so many doctors that are, that are coming up. It's now professional network marketers. It's regular people. So um, you know, it's an awesome niche if you're comfortable there and if you're good there, but just talk to everybody because they'll yeah. lead you ultimately to their doctors as well. Good point. Very good point. So, <clears throat> to um, Dr. Dr. Foster and Terry, if you had to start your business from scratch, how would you do it now? What would you do differently? And what would you? What tools would you recommend using? And mm -hmm. how fast would you do it? Wow. Well, I, I think 
easily, I would have focused more on the network marketing model um, than just the product. Uh, if you want to build this business, I would have definitely learned about network marketing. I would have been more comfortable offering the opportunity and not being embarrassed of it. Um, so that I, I would have definitely done different. It's, it's different times though, because as Foster said, right Gary, in the beginning, we literally had two videos in the dinosaur days when we got in. We had the product video and the opportunity video. So we didn't have a lot of tools. So we really did have to talk a lot because we were teaching the world about these redox signalers. It's a different time now. And there's, I could tell you the videos that I like today, but next week there'll be different ones, great ones. So there's so many different tools. I think the key is, is to use the tools. And as we used to say, don't vomit on people. Don't try to explain redox signaling molecules. Use a tool and find out, ask questions. I think I would have done that more too, is ask questions of people, find out what's in it for them. Um, if I'm talking to an athlete, I'm certainly not gonna talk about my health condition. If I'm talking to somebody that's sick, I'm probably not gonna talk about the opportunity. So it's, it's finding out where somebody's at and, and what's in it for them. And then following up, following up. That's my favorite. It's not so much a tool, but it's following up as many times as it takes to educate that person on, on what we have and what's in it for them. And so, you know, I think people give up. I think they give up. Oh, they didn't sign up after I spoke to them the first time. Oh, they didn't answer my phone call. I called them three times. They didn't answer. I'm going to not call them anymore. Keep following up until you get an answer, a yes or a no, and just keep, keep giving people what it is they want. What do they need more of? And just educate them. Once people are educated about what we have, whether it's the opportunity or the products, um, once they're educated, it's a no brainer. They're going to get it. So just keep following up. Don't be embarrassed. And, you know, people just don't know what we have until they do. And so it's not that they're not interested. They're just busy. And like we said, we knew that the guy that, that got us in, he just wanted us to join his business. So he didn't really know that I was sick. Uh, so again, um, following up, asking questions and, and focus on learning about the opportunity, the business. Beautiful. And you know, the reason that I do this, so Dr. Gary's presentation, I would want to see that presentation. I would want it myself and I'd want to watch it 10 times so I could get every fact that came out of that because that's, that's why I'm here is that to see, you know, you know, we are just bags of biochemistry and to know that that's what's going on inside us when you drink this product, that's what gets me so excited. Yeah. And I'm a geek. There's not that many of us around that are going to build a business while wa wanting to learn that. The real reason I built this business, I got my wife back. So I didn't do it for any other reason other than to shut up a guy in California. And my wife got better and that got my notice. And reading that man's book, that got my notice. And then once I saw their hearts at the first convention, and I assure you, you go to convention, your world will change. When you meet the hearts of the people who are here, when we saw Dr. Gary's heart and Virtus Norton's heart and that this science was real, that's what got us. And we came back and said, how can we not do this? We have to try this. Yeah. Absolutely. Dr. Samuelson, have you got any thoughts to, uh, about this? Love to hear your thoughts. Uh, it, it's, uh, you know, been quite a journey. And so... <laughs> You know, before uh, it, people do learn, you learn a little bit at a time about the, the science. The science, as, you, as we've said, isn't the thing that convinces us. Understand the mechanisms. But whether or not you understand it, it works. And, and it works universally in everyone. It's safe. It, it's, it's a wonderful product. And, and, um, and it should be in the hands of every single person. It should be in the hands of every, all the hospitals in the world. <laughs> Stacked, stacked up in, in whatever form you, you want, you know, uh, and, and this, is a, this is a wonderful thing. And uh, so I, I see at the end of this journey that it will be uh, one of the greatest tools that we'll have uh, for, uh, for gay, regaining our health in, in the world. And it just, it just happens to be, you know, in, in this model that it has come forward, uh, but more power to you, more power to people like, uh, like, um, Terry and 
and, and foster and all of the doctors that are in, in there that are, are, are uh, understand the, the importance of this through their own experience, folks. And people will start talking about mitochondria that they have no idea what a mitochondria is. <laughs> uh, you know, to, to explain these, these sort of things and gain the knowledge, these knowledge that, uh, that Foster was talking about. And it's exciting. It's exciting to, to, to get, gain new knowledge. It's exciting to understand how the body works and how we can be stewards over our own bodies um, to, make, to make ourselves better. And, th and that's wonderful. I, I, tr I truly believe this is going to be considered the greatest scientific discovery of the 21st century. I truly believe that. I believe that just like um, penicillin took 17 years, moldy bread, for people to, you know, believe in it. Everybody laughed at people for, you know, 17 years. Well, we're, 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 we're getting there. We're just having, the world is discovering it. And soon when momentum hits, the whole world is gonna know about, every country wants this. People in every country are begging for this. And it's just a matter of time before we can get it to everybody. And it's, it's gonna change. As Foster said that at, at day five, when he was halfway through Dr. Gary's book and he set it down and he said, Jerry, this is gonna change healthcare. This is gonna change the world. For me, I just care that I was better. For him, he's a science guy and he was so excited. So that I, I'm, I'm very excited to where this is gonna be um, in, in a few years. And Dr. Gary is going to be a household name. I believe that. Yes, he is. Dr. Gary Nobel Prize Samuelson. So, um, <laughs> <I like that. laughs> so my thought, um, you know, and I know Marie that, you know, we had sort of discussed, you know, where is it that we see where this is going to go? Um, you know, it took something really sad, uh, I think historically for penicillin to be accepted widespread was they needed an answer to infections. I think it was during World War II. And that's how they needed something and it was there. And that's how they discovered that these antibiotics were real. And I don't know what it's going to take um, if it's just going to be this slow continued roll as it goes into momentum and it's all just through this network marketing model or we're going to have some issue where people are going to, instead of reaching for whatever it is their doctor prescribes, we are now already having people who are saying, you know what? My doctor says I need to do this for that, but instead I'm going to take a SIA. And then they say, can I put it here? And then can I put it there? And I can't answer those questions. All I can say is it's safe, whatever you do with it, but I can't make recommendations unless it's drinking it or spraying it or using it topically. Mm -hmm. But um, there's no question that the groundswell has already begun, that people are now reaching for this. And I think that part's going to happen first. Uh, we're humans. Uh, some of us, you know, people still smoke cigarettes and they drink and they do all sorts of stuff. You talk to Gary and it's, you know, they use Botox, they eat sugar, they do things that just cause this rampant oxidative stress that causes these problems that we have. People, I don't think are going to look at this as much for prevention as an answer when they're forced to have an answer. And then once they see what happens with this, that it helps them in ways that they had hoped, I think then other people like us said, you know what, we saw what happened, let's try to prevent that stuff. And I think the prevention will come later and it being an answer short term is gonna happen sooner. And I think that's how this is gonna grow. Wonderful, yeah, great. You know, uh, penicillin took 20 years to develop. My, my maxim right now is what works wins. And so uh, like if it's it. safe and it works, it wins. Very good. Wow. Can we use that, Dr. Gary, or do you have that trademark? Uh, no, it's not trademarked. It. They were fine. <laughs> well, then you can also use long-term use of a SIA cure skepticism. I got that okay. <laughs> well, this has been an amazing webinar. We were a little bit over the hour. Dr. Summerson has got to go. Um, it's a little bit late over there where you are. Uh, I just want to say thank you on behalf of everybody because, you know, appreciation is a wonderful thing. And makes what is excellent, which is you, you two, Dr. Sanos and Dr. Foster and Terry, you know, belong to others as well. So thank you so very much for your time and wisdom. You know, we thank you. 
because your dedication and passion for the work and that you are doing in the surfing service that you're providing to humanity, you know, fills our hearts with hope and, and I truly appreciate it. The world's a bit of pace because you guys are in it. So thank you so very much. It's been a wonderful uh, webinar and we've had lots of tips and ideas. Um, just, uh, I guess the message is, this is an amazing discovery. As you said, um, Dr. Foster and Terry is the best thing that's ever happened to us in the 21st century and beyond, I believe. Um, there is a lot of information that ASEA has put out there. So please feel free to go and uh, access that. It will answer a lot of the questions that I've seen come in on the uh, chat. The, we have also um, Dr. Samuelson's book, um, the, uh, the Science of Heal Reveal, and of course his um, blog, which is www.drgarysamuelson.com. There's a lot of information there. A lot of the presentation that you saw today will be there. It's been a wonderful webinar, as I said before, with lots of ideas, 100% appreciation from all of us. Thank you so very much. And I think we all have, those that are listening, those that are watching this, we have a human responsibility. It's a global responsibility to share this with as many people as possible. We have got an amazing gift in our hands. Thank you, Dr. Samuelson, because like you said one day, long, long time ago, it was like divine intervention that it, when it clicked in your brain, we all benefit from it. So thank you very, very much. Finally, before I, I say goodbye, please note, ASEA Renew28 and Intensive Redox Serum are not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease or medical condition. Once again, thank you so much to all of you. Goodbye. Thank you. Thank you for Good having night. us. Good night, Gary. Good thank night, you, Maria. Gary. Good night, Maria. Good night. Thank you. Honored to Good thank night, you. Yeah.